and we don't need this anymore so delete that one okay um let's do this first give it a name um actually it's better to have it as the title yes that is the table of contents it's pretty clever uh, and what we need to do is let me put a space here okay so we can we can do like either way if you want it to be like side by side or um, if we want to do side by side we can probably do that okay and then third, fourth Fifth. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, but actually, so what we need to do is we we need to highlight not highlight on uh, hide the title there. Let's try to see the entire view. Okay, it's pretty. Mm, doesn't look good. You can try different format, and you can actually like make it a square or something. Okay, I kind of feel like I want to do this. Okay, so now that looks uh, a bit better, but you can always, you know, squeeze them. So it's just um, a small table of content there, just to demonstrate how, how we can do it. Uh, and what we need to do here is to add action. So dashboard, actions. Okay, now I see we already have many actions in this, uh, in this report okay let's add the action for our table of contents here so what we need is the filter action uh, for each one of them click filter so this is like um, this one is the uh, the source and then this is the target so you are click from this one to the target so the source is table of contents of course well, we need to uncheck the others because we're gonna just click on one and direct it to the first one. Okay. So that is the first one, and we need to select uh, select, which means the action will fire once you select the item. And we need to select the target sheets. Okay. The that's why uh, because I don't remember. I don't remember the uh, the actual ones. Okay, now we got it. Let's go back to the actions. Add filter. So this one will be give it a name. Otherwise, it will be confusing. Select tail of 100 startup okay like what we did before uncheck the other ones and then the target one tail of, okay we got it select and leave it and remember to select this one select the fields for target filters click ok Okay, now we can try it. 
say it works okay but yes we need the um, the back button there so we can do it right now so back button is TOC7 let's drag it okay here it looks good what we need is a high hide the title so now we got this one mm. so it's kind of weird to say table of contents there so maybe we can do um, what we need to do is we want to add this item to be back to table of contents or you can name it uh, any way you want so what we can do is right click extract it refresh and wait a second Okay, it doesn't. Um, why is not refreshed? Okay, let's make sure it's the correct one. Uh oh, it's uh, it's the other, it's the other one. It's not the one we just created. Sorry about that. So this one will be the one we need. So now we added, save it and then go back here now we are refreshing the correct one okay so wait a second importing right here. yes yes now it works okay so go back to the um, the first one now it says back to table of contents so it makes sense now. Um, the thing is, you can, you can like I prefer to change the format of this button, so it will um, look like it. It will highlight a little bit. Okay, let's do a darker color, and then. For the text, do white. Okay. Let's see how it looks like. Pretty nice. So if we click on it, it doesn't do anything because we need to add action like we just did for that one. Okay. So right now we are here. So we need to click on actually select this item so select and the target is back to table of contents now select this one click ok and we're good Let's click ok it's back so one thing is what we forgot to do is for this action for this action we forgot to give it a name yes so when you got too many actions and then you want to go back to edit it, it, it will be very hard if you don't have a name so back to TOC but remember this is the f uh, item one like first dashboard so Let's put a one there because we need it on every dashboard. Okay. Then let's go back. Go back to this one. We need to add action on each one of them. So actually, I don't really need to go through the rest of it because it's uh, all the same. Like what we have to do here, uh, what we have done here is add action to this one and then it got to this page and um, we add a back button right here and it 
it directs us back to the table of contents. So we can do the same for the other tabs. Uh, so that's about it. It's just uh, a bit time consuming to create all these tabs. Um, and by the way, after you have um, created all these and finished all the actions, you can hide them so they don't uh, they don't appear here like like right here. Okay, and we can hide them all right now. And nobody will see those tabs. It will be nice and clean. Okay.